all road travelers and drivers should pay the sum of 200 naira tax weekly for road maintenance, Buari declared. It is no longer news that the Buari-led administration has lifted the ban placed on interstate movement in the country. Most travelers and drivers are happy that they all can go back to their individual business without issues. But the only problem is starting up traveling activities again means trouble for the roads. How do we then settle the road issues? All travelers face like bad roads and other issues travelers experience while traveling. This question is very simple and in my opinion, all travelers should come up with a solution for that and not fold their hands and wait for the federal government to intervene in everything. I believe that if you want something to work for you, you need to make it work yourselves. Therefore, all travelers and drivers should pay the sum of 200 naira tax weekly for road maintenance. Below are my reasons for saying that all road travelers and drivers should pay the sum of 200 naira tax weekly for road maintenance. 1. Constant traveling destroys good roads. It is common knowledge that constant traveling destroys any strong road as quickly as possible. It is not also proper for the day-to-day -day users of the road to call on the government or start lamenting anytime the road gets bad. All drivers and travelers should just agree and be paying a fee of 200 naira to the government for road maintenance. 2. Maintenance is better than cure. To make things better for themselves, it would be a very wise decision for the travelers and the drivers to pay a tax of 200 naira weekly for the roads. This is because maintaining the road with a token as small as 200 naira weekly will save the road from a huge damage that will require much work and attention from the government. This is not rocket science, it's common knowledge and every normal road user will agree with me when I say that most interstate roads are terrible. Security of lives. As they say, no amount is too big as long as it has to do with life and saving lives. Bad roads are the common cause of accidents. But if the commuters can agree and pay the aforementioned amount, they will be trading on a much safer path. It's better to invest your little earnings into something that can save your life and the lives of other Nigerians and travelers like you. In conclusion, this article is purely an opinion piece and not a rule yet, but I hope the federal government puts this into consideration as it will go a long way in saving lives and also making interstate movement smooth. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Nice one. Um, my viewers, to the writer of this article, I would say that you have actually made a good opinion and a very good suggestion. That is, if Nigerians we see it the way I am seeing it. You understand? Um First and foremost, the amount you're talking about is not much. It's not much. It's, it's still a token. And at the same time, it's still for their own good and not for the good of anyone. They are still the one using the road. And, and also, it's for safety. Because when the roads, the roads are bad, it will be very difficult for them to, to move um, safely and um, and um, and properly, you know, it will help to save accidents and um, and um, also help to save um, um, traffic. 
Are you getting it? So, um, I want to say that travelers should not argue about this, but rather they should um, concur to this fact and um, and agree to to do as as expected. The federal government should adopt this system because it's a very good one. You know, I would say that um, the writer is a good economist because um, economics has taught us um, maintenance and uh, and um, and uh, and human security. She understand, so it's a very good one if Nigerians will see this and um, and do as expected. You see uh, that that we have that we are having too many um, issues of um, of um, of accidents and um, recording of death rates on interstate road is as a result of the bad road and you agree with me that the federal government on their own part yes they have been trying on the road issue but to make it more better it will be good for citizens to contribute meaningfully to the to the quick running of the of the of, of the business are you getting it so it should no longer be the issue of the federal government alone but also the issue of of the of the people as well are you getting it all right so um my viewer my viewers i would say that uh, your comment concerning this are of great importance all right please see reason with um with uh, what has just been put together by this uh, writer okay see reason to um to give meaningful opinion because it's just like the writer said it's an opinion and not yet uh, an, an accepted or implemented decision a decision that has been accepted or implemented should um we uh, is a is a, is a is a decision that the federal government has put into into um into into consideration so this one is yet to be accepted so to, uh, together it will be good for us to see reason why this should be put into consideration and uh, you agree with me that uh, the federal government on their own side yes we know that they have their lapses and then also they have their weaknesses but on this issue of road let us try to understand the situation and give a meaningful support to that you understand all right so um i'll tell us that this period of pandemic yes we know has spoiled a lot of things and um, for the fact that um, nothing has been happening on the road since um the big the, the, since the, the period of the pandemic it shows that yes there is reason for proper maintenance of this road because if this road are not properly maintained the workers will not be able to to um to carry out this this uh, uh will not be able to resume um work as expected all right so um my viewers please uh, your comment concerning this news of great importance please uh, don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you